And for some reason, I cannot just believe that the guys at Trimble have finally released SketchUp 2019. And for things that are supposed to be called updates, they have now made it look like features. And I don't understand the whole trend with all these multi-billion dollar companies giving us subscription plans all the way. I think this is a new bandwagon for everyone and for some very good reasons, I am not particularly happy with the SketchUp 2019. Hi guys and welcome back to Ask NK. In today's video, we're going to be looking at SketchUp 2019. I'll be ranting about it probably maybe a lot. I would also give you my reaction about the entire update and also I will do a simple review of SketchUp. So just in case you are new to SketchUp, hold that seat baby because I got you covered. And so if you want to get a copy of SketchUp or maybe you want to check out the website, you can go over to www.sketchup.com and then you can get or try SketchUp for a while, probably before you can, you know, make that down payment, especially now that this subscription or uh, the payment plan is now changed from perpetual licensing to uh, so a subscription based licensing. And uh, just a little bit of a backstory, SketchUp was previously owned by Google and now they are now... Uh, owned by Trimble so in, just in case you have no idea about this and then you one thing with SketchUp it's it's just this very amazing app that is simple and straightforward for you to just simply jump right inside of it and create all the amazing architectural designs and also bits of props that you may want to create or maybe you find it hard on how to get them working in other 3d applications so let's get right into SketchUp and let me show you what we have as updates and then I will just simply rant about them a bit and then we can get on with the entire video. So this is SketchUp 2019. It's open and what is SketchUp without the new figure? So definitely this has become a trend in the entire uh, SketchUp pipeline that for every single update there is a scale figure and look at the beards man. Damn! Okay cool. I think it's a beard gang thing. The scale character looks nice. You know, gives you that sense of scale. So now you can know exactly the height of the door which you're supposed to work with. And the new features that are here in SketchUp 2019 are not so uh, alarming. Okay, so we have two basic new features. Two basic new features. And the first one has to do with dotted lines. Okay, yeah, probably you'll be saying, what does that mean? Yes, it simply has to do with dotted and dashed lines so you can now add dotted and dashed lines to your uh models <laughs> so let me just simply grab a model out here or let me just simply create a simple box or a rectangle and let's just uh, simply extrude this and i'll do something else what i'll do now is uh okay let me just simply come through and just pick up this split it in half and you know press p on your keyboard to simply activate the pull and then you can pull it all the way down okay so the new feature is this that with this being available on layer one you can now simply click here and make this outline a uh, dashed outline or dotted outline so you can now change this outline i see the reason why the reason why is most times you may have a big model and maybe there are certain models within the entire picture maybe for some reason maybe some of the models are not going to be permanent models some of the models might be uh uh maybe they might be destined to change later in the uh, in the pipeline in the project or something i understand why you can you know get all of this uh nice stuff in you know, you can use this to change or identify models that might not be there for a very long time. So this doesn't just happen with 2D, uh, 2D vectors. As far as it exists in the layer, then that works. So if I bring up or let's say I create a new layer and I simply create something like this. You see, uh, let me just simply uh, select this one now. Give me a second. Let's delete that layer. Let me pick this pen and drop the pen here. So if the pen is here, it simply means that you're working with this layer. So if the pen is down here, it means you're working with the other layer. So if I just simply drop this, press P on your keyboard to pull. So let's just pull a little bit more. You can also see that nothing is happening here. Okay. So because we have them in different layers. So for you to have this dotted lines, I mean, for you to have this dashed lines or dotted lines on your model, 
of course they have to be in the same layer and for also uh, as a good measure just in case you don't know how to you know play around because now you see i have this selected and if i press the m on my keyboard and move you see i'm moving just all of that part the best way to deal with things like this is simply select every single thing right click and maybe make them as a component you can name the component how you choose and once you have the component name let's just name this box and now i can just simply you know have it here and once i want to move i can just simply pick and move okay so what did you learn uh, what the thing here is they all have to be in the same layer now i can come over to this layer and you know change the the look that this uh one would have so you can see that the dash lines are different okay so this is an update and it should not be a feature okay that i don't like the fact that it is seen as a feature this is an update probably it should have come with maybe the uh, 2019 or no, 2018.5 2018.1 2018.2 i don't care what the name is but i just think that for it to show up now as 2019 and it is considered a feature is wrong it is not something that i would particularly like about sketchup i've been using sketchup for a very long time and there has been no physical big wowing change okay every single thing that exists here can be something that you probably might have found a way to deal with it okay okay so uh for something like this the dotted line yeah you're going to say it doesn't exist before but definitely you can also color you can also add colors and you know maybe make color palettes for you to know what model should do what something like that or previously there was also another very uh, hard and tasking way you can do this where you go in and you know start cutting the lines and stuff like that what i'm saying in essence is this should come to us as an update and not as a feature that is one so the next thing that is a feature uh, that was uh, announced is the tape measure tool so for the tape measure tool so let's just press h on our keyboard to bring out the hand and if you press t on your keyboard you can bring out the tape so for the tape measure tool, once you uh, take the tape and get to a point, you can see the um, you can see the measurement. Okay, so from down here, you can see the measurement. It says on edge. Once you're going up, you can see the measurement as well. This is also something I would also regard to as a feature. Okay, so somewhere like here, just dropping this here, you can see that on the text tool or on the text tool tip, you can see it says on edge. This is how much by inches that it is within uh, from the point a to the point b let's say from this edge or to that point from here to here you can also see that this is something that should be in sketchup before now i don't think that these should be regarded at this point in 2019 as a feature i think this should have been in sketchup before now okay i don't know what you guys think about this i would like to know what you think about it in the comment section but just before I get you guys going let me talk about the things i really really wish they could do before we even talk about that just a minute before we talk about that there is um the whole thing about subscription and i don't know why everyone is going subscription i understand the fact that you know paying a full uh perpetual license might be quite expensive and you know you can now go ahead and pay very uh, minimal amount and enjoy the whole thing for a year two years or so but I would like a system where you can purchase the app you can purchase the app and then you can pay for some sort of update or maintenance fee to me that would be perfectly fine i can choose to own an app for five years and just because i love the entire plugins i've purchased for that particular version i don't want to upgrade okay if you've been using sketchup for a very long time you know that there is basically nothing wow that has showed up in sketchup okay I've, I've actually not used sketchup for the past uh a year for a past year for for one year now and i can still not see any big difference except for this and just these two things there is there's no huge difference that has showed up in sketchup so the pricing just before i i get all crazy about this the pricing is this that now you can now have something called SketchUp Shop. You can have SketchUp Pro. You can have SketchUp Free, which you have to sign up and you know you can get that. And speaking about this, there is also a subscription for uh, professionals. There is a subscription for schools, and there is also another subscription for primary schools as well. 
So I like the fact that, you know, for students, you get to pay this amount. I like the fact that for the students, you get to pay this amount. And also, I like the fact that it, there is something called SketchUp Free. This is not a new feature. This is not a new stuff that has been around. Like in 2016, if I remember correctly, 2016, 2017, if I remember correctly, there was a beta where they were testing out the new uh, my.sketchup.com stuff, which is the uh, web-based SketchUp. So in case you don't know, there is a web-based version of SketchUp which simply means that you can do all of your SketchUp stuff if you don't have the processing power or you don't have a hardware that can support what you're doing. You can do all of those, uh, your beautiful SketchUp designs directly on your browser. The only downside to this is you cannot install plugins on that part, okay? And that brings me to the second thing, or the, to the third thing which I wanted to talk about within this uh, period of ranting. I don't like the fact that SketchUp doesn't change, except for this for this bar, except for this bar that we that we have here. Previously, all of this were just floating bars, except for the bar that is here. There is basically no radical change to SketchUp. Okay, there is basically no radical change to SketchUp. Are they fixing bugs? Who cares? I don't care. As far as I don't get to see the, I don't get to see something that works or something that changes, something that makes me know that I'm. It's like using the same. Uh, it's like using the same app over and over again, just that you're installing a couple of updates and you know, they call them features. Things I don't like about this present version of SketchUp, things I felt that in this uh, version would have come or things that should have showed up in this present version was the entire UI, okay? People have moved on from just jumping around the, the, this, 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 this view. I wish that this UI mimicked the UI of the SketchUp free let me show you the sketchup free just in case this is the sketchup free version so you can do basically everything that you can do on on the on the pc or the desktop version you can do everything here so if you press l on your keyboard it brings out the line tool you can simply draw your line to wherever you want it to be if you press p on your keyboard you can pull up you can pull down and all of those amazing things what's more with this one is that you know once you click here you get to see all of this menu Okay, the follow through menu or the follow me menu, you see how it pops out. You can also see how all of this pops out. Now you can see all of the Boolean things, how they pop out. You can see these other ones, how they pop out. I wish it exists in SketchUp, in the real SketchUp itself. I wish that this bar is somewhere like here. How should I, this doesn't even want to tag itself to it. Okay, it's going to the second screen. I wish that this was somewhere here, okay? I really wish that that was there. Other things I wished for is once you click on something, you have to get those other features there. The UI sucks. Okay. So just in case you're saying, you know, SketchUp is amazing, all of this stuff. No, the UI sucks. Take it. It sucks. You have to simply come. Let me show you. You have to simply come through, go over to tools before you can find the follow me tool. And this tool is something that you probably use. You maybe don't use it. You like it. Maybe you don't like it. But it doesn't have a shortcut attached to it yeah you can assign shortcut but you don't need to they should put a shortcut to this stuff all of this stuff they don't have shortcuts as well so if they don't have shortcuts and i'm new to sketchup and because sketchup should be fast it should be quick it should be for prototyping and stuff like that i should be able to find those features here okay that's one thing i wish they could do right another thing yes speaking out from this Another thing is you can see how simplified this entire place is. So if you click on these buttons here, you know, you can see how simplified all of these things are. I wish that we can have those here as well. Okay. I wish we can have some very, very simplified looking stuff. You don't have to click this, you know, start tap, 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 all these things. I, I don't know. I wish we can have those things. Another thing, the viewport is good, but if we can have a quad view, where you don't necessarily, you don't necessarily need to come to the camera and, you know, start uh, putting the camera in different views. So first of all, you have to come through, uh, you, you have to come through to put in parallel uh, projection. Then you now have to go to the front and all of that stuff just for, just for you to get autographic views. No, I wish there could be a very quick button that you can just tap and, you know, you can get all the views like in a quad or in a card, depending on how you call it. 
So you can get your top view, your left view, your front view, your, your perspective view. This is 2019 guys and I think these things should work. Another thing I wish that could happen, this is going to be on the technical side, is I wish you can automatically dictate the edges. So let's say I make a selection like this. I wish SketchUp could automatically just simply dictate the edges for me. So once I tap this and tap this, maybe it should automatically dictate. I don't necessarily need to, you know, tap, 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 you know, have to make all of the selection now deselect. I wish you can just simply double click and get this. I know there are plugins that can get you that, but I so wish that that can happen. And another thing I wish can come through is this. Let me show you. Another thing I wish can come through is uh, this tiny dream of mine. And this dream is, you know, once you want to do something like the follow me, let's say I want to get this. Let me just put this in, in perspective. You can see how ridiculous this is for it to just get to the point where I want it to be. Okay, fine. So once I get to put this in perspective, I would really wish for it to be that once I make my selection or once I select this and just make one, two, three, it should auto suggest for all of these to have the follow feature. Okay. I don't, I know if you, if you probably don't know how this follow me tool works, this is what you end up doing most of the time. You know, you go over to the tool, you come to follow me, you click on this, you know, and you start following this uh, one after the other. But there are faster ways for you to get this done and I'll show you now. So how would you do a follow me? Probably that's what you're asking. So uh, I just said that you've been doing it wrongly if you do it that way. So how you can do a quick follow me, uh, you simply select all of this, tap, tap this out, tap this out. Let's take these ones away. Okay, so once you get to take these, once you get to take all of them away, you can now come through. You can now come through, go over to the tools, go over to follow me. And once you click on this, automatically it's going to do all of that for you. Okay, so this is how you can do it. That, 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 that's it. I, I wish they can, you know, get things to work a bit more better. I'm beginning to think that these big shots that they don't really care and for the past few months for the past few weeks we've been getting updates and except for apps like uh clarice which i talked about now you can check the video within the cards and i'm going to put in the description i don't think any of these other apps are coming out with something good and strong as much as i felt that they will over the period of years i also did a video where i talked about maya 2019 and you can see how much stuff that it showed up with i did another video about modbox 2019 and you can also see how much stuff that it showed up with the same thing goes for motion builder and all of them i would like to know what you guys think about this i would like to know what you guys suggest about this stuff would you continue using sketchup what would you want to do with sketchup would you move on to revit is this something that you would want to keep up with have you used autocad do you want to try that because those are available options that you can also explore. I would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section. And if you like this video, simply give it a like and also share with your friends. And if you're new here and you're not subscribed to this channel, I would like you so much to subscribe to this channel and also turn on notification so that you can get updates the minute I upload a new video. And until I see you guys next time with a rant, a review, tutorial, or maybe a reaction like this, peace.